All right, Joe, so let's talk about this trip to the Garden. Four really great teams. Can you talk about the two matchups in the semifinals? Yeah, it's actually exciting to have three teams that weren't here last year. Sometimes in this event, you see the same people on a regular basis. That's been the history of the event. So we've got three teams that weren't here last year. I think the, the first matchup, there are a lot of people who saw them in the Beanpot uh, final when they were here about a month ago. And it was a 7-6 to six game in an era where there's a lot of low-scoring college hockey games. It was a pretty exciting game. And then they, I think they played a 7-7 seven, seven game uh, later that same week. So uh, there's a lot of history, recent history. Uh, I don't know that it'll be uh, 13 or 14 goals, but I think um, as BC is, a, is the favorite, obviously, because of their late season track record. But the way Northeastern has, has come on the last month, um, the only shame is at 5 o'clock there probably won't be a lot of people there to see the start of it. They'll be there at the end. The other matchup, um, Merrimack's kind of one of, the, one of the top stories of the year. Uh, you know, New Hampshire has always been down here, it seems. They missed the last two years, so they've got a little bit of incentive to get back here and, and do well. But uh, I saw both the Merrimack's games last week against Maine, and, you know, it's not a fluke. They're for real, and, they're, and it's not just the couple of star players everybody knows. It's a, it's a pretty good team effort, and I, I'm glad to see them not only down here, but playing in the primetime game, which is a big thrill for them, I'm sure. Absolutely. And can you talk about maybe a few highlights from throughout the entire season? Well, you know, we, we, we had a, a the, the race wasn't early on like you, you expected. The parity that we've talked about all the time wasn't there. The, the league pretty much settled into a kind of a top half, bottom half early in the season. Uh, and then we saw a few teams uh, uh, stumble and things get a little tighter and the race is getting a little tighter. Uh, but in the end, I guess the, I, as I go back to I think Merrimack was, was actually a, the storyline along the way. And I think the way BC won the title, sometimes we take things for granted with them. But to, to win two games... Uh, uh, to sweep a good New Hampshire team the way they did it and to win the final game on the road, that's pretty impressive. Uh, how about the national polls? Hockey East teams have certainly been at the top, if not at the top. Yeah, we uh, we were hoping we'd have four or five teams qualify for the tournament, and then because of the results on the weekend with Maine and, and BU losing, it looks like their their fates have been uh, kind of decided. And so it looks like we've got we've got three pretty solid entries. And uh, I suppose if I was rooting only with my hockey East hat, Northeastern winning would be nice because we get a fourth team. But uh, we, it looks like we're not going to have the five at one time. We hope we would have. And how about the BC and BU women? They're at the Frozen Four right now. How exciting is that for the league? It, it's very exciting. We've never had a team in the final game. I've actually booked a flight. Kathy Winters and I have 8.30 flights to Buffalo. Uh, so if either one of those teams wins Friday, and they are the underdogs in both games, but uh, if one or more of them get there, we'll be on the plane to Buffalo and driving down to Erie Sunday afternoon and hope to bring our first women's national championship back to Hockey East. Here with senior forward Paul Thompson from the University of New Hampshire. Paul, you won Player of the Year. What does that mean to you? Um, it's it's uh, quite an honor, especially in such a, a, a competitive conference in hockey. So there's so many good players, and so many good players have won the award uh, before me. So it's quite an honor, and uh, just happy happy that it was given to me. But um, I'm looking forward to the weekend and hopefully accomplishing a, one of our main goals as a team here. Can you talk about this weekend? What kinds of things are you guys expecting? Um, I think it's probably the same types of games we saw from Merrimack uh, a month ago or so when we played them, and uh, they're obviously going to be a very good test. They're a very good team, so we uh, can't look past that. So we're very focused right now on Friday night in Merrimack, and then hopefully, hopefully if we get the job done, we'll uh, worry about that opponent the next night. And talk about your line. It's you, Simone, Adi Simone, and Cislo. You guys are power forwards. How is that going to play into the factor of tomorrow's game? Um, last time against Merrimack, we didn't play our best, and they kind of shut us down. So we're, we're looking to try to have a better weekend and a better night tomorrow and try to get rolling and hopefully have some success and help the team get a win. And you recently made it to the 100-point club. Can you talk about how that was a success for you? Um, yeah, that's obviously one of the goals that you set, I think, as a forward when you come to college. You want to want to hopefully reach that in your career. So that was a, a great milestone, and I'm glad to reach it. And uh, to have Mike and Phil reach it in the same year and pretty close together was pretty cool, too. And you grew up in New Hampshire watching the Wildcats as a youngster. Now you're a senior. Looking back, can you talk about what that means to play for the team you always watched? Um, it's been an awesome experience. It's something I, I always dreamed of doing, and then I got to live my dream, and uh, it actually went by really fast. So we're coming down to the stretch run here, and hopefully we can leave school, and I can leave school doing something that nobody in the Wildcat uniform has ever done before. Here with Charlie Coyle, the Rookie of the Year. Charlie, can you talk about what this word means to you? Yeah, uh, it's you know it's a pretty special honor for myself, but um, 
you know, it goes without saying, my teammates, coaches, everyone helped me out. So obviously couldn't happen uh, without them. So, uh, you know, I'm very thankful to, you know, you know, for my coaches and teammates helped me out with this. So, And can you reflect on this season? You, in your first game, you got a hat trick. Talk about the journey of your rookie year. Yeah, I mean, just start off with that game. It was, you know, it gave me some confidence a little bit, obviously. But, um, you know, my first year at college hockey was, you know, it was, it was pretty good. We had a good group of guys. Um, you know, kind of wish we were still playing right now. But, you know, overall, we had a good season. We had a young team. Um, so, you know, we, we, we gained a lot of knowledge through that. And, um, you know, we'll bring that to next year. So, Can you talk about the young team? What's it like developing with people who are similar to your age and there's not exactly as much leadership as there would be on other teams, perhaps? Yeah, um, you know, we still have good leadership despite uh, not too many, you know, seniors and juniors and whatever. But, um, you know, having a young team, it, you know, we kind of had to, you know, bond together a little more and, um, you know, g gain the knowledge that we, that we gained. And, um, you know, I think we had a good season with, a, with the group of guys we had and we had a young team. So, um, you know, overall, I think it was a good year for us, and uh, we, we learned a lot, so we'll bring over to next year. If you could name a couple people that you might be able to attribute your success to, family, um, coaches, throughout your college career and hockey career, who would those people be? Um, you know, definitely all my coaches who have helped me throughout the years. Um, uh, you know, and obviously coaches this year, Jack Parker. Um, you know, he's, he's been around for a while, so his experience is, you know, unbelievable. You learn, you learn something new from him every day, and, um, you know, definitely my family who's always been behind me, been to games and support me through the years, so, um, you know, and definitely my teammates who, you know, always there, um, you know, practice this and pushing one another, so, you know, there's definitely a lot of people to thank, and, um, you know, it goes without saying, so. And what do you think mom and dad are going to say when they find out you win? <laughs> I'm sure they'll be happy, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the same thing, uh, you know, they, they know you know other people helping me with the award too. It's not just myself, obviously, and uh, you know, but but they'll they'll be happy for me.